want to turn the, you want to turn the water on I'll turn it on. Oh, look 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 he wants it oh yeah. this is the best thing I've ever done in my life there you go there you go fatten up because I'm gonna grab you by the neck and I'm taking you back to my place and I'm going to eat you tonight have some more water sure this can't be good for people I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, get funky with me. What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? So here I am in Santa Barbara and I'm in a cemetery to start off this video. Look behind me. It's the Pacific Ocean. Just, just on the top of a cliff here. At the top of the cemetery. And you see the mountains on that side. Lots of houses. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to visit a grave. Uh, I've already, you've already seen my Alan Thick video if you maybe, maybe didn't. But it's the one I previously put up which is the main reason for me to come to Santa Barbara Cemetery. But while I'm here, I want to do a video about just walking around Santa Barbara and showing you it because really of all the cities and places I've been to, there's a lot that I love, a lot of places I find very beautiful, but there's really nothing quite like Santa Barbara. It is absolutely beautiful. And, <laughs> just, <laughs> and, I'm just gonna see what I find. I'm just gonna kind of walk around. Well, I'm gonna drive someplace. I'm not gonna walk, I'm not, come on. But I'm gonna walk around, show you some things in, in Santa Barbara. First, while I'm here though, I'm gonna visit the grave of Tab Hunter, who I don't know much about, but I know he's uh, interred here. And my aunt, my Aunt Catherine, she loved Tab Hunter. She, she's, she's still alive. Hi Aunt Catherine, you're probably watching this. Uh, she loves or loved Tab Hunter and I didn't really know anything about him but I thought well I'm here well I'm gonna go visit his grave he was a teen idol in the 50s I was reading a little bit about him so uh, this isn't really a video about Tab Hunter so if you're a Tab Hunter fan don't uh, get angry at me for not knowing much about him uh, he's a little before my time but that doesn't matter you still uh, you know what? I hate when people say that well I wasn't alive then so how would I know well, because of history and you read stuff so I just, I just never, he was never really on my radar, so to speak. But I want to visit his grave for my aunt and also find his career very interesting. He left at home at the age of 15 to join the Coast Guard. Then he became an actor and he was huge in the 50s. And he had a song that replaced Elvis's song too much on the charts at number one. So he was a singer too. And he had his own TV show. And then when uh, in the 60s, his career sort of waned, but he still acted for a long time. And... He's Tab Hunter. He's like an icon. So, let's go visit Tab Hunter's final resting spot. Not too far from Alan Thick. You can see him, his uh, gravesite right over there. So if you don't watch my video, it's probably the one I put up just before this, maybe, or I'll put a link below. So let's visit Tab Hunter's grave. And then from there, we're gonna go and walk over. Look at that building over there. Look at that, do you see that? It's huge, oh, hold on. I don't know what it is, but it's impressive. I don't think it's a house. I'm not sure what's going on. It's definitely not a Home Depot, but I'm not sure what it is. But let's visit Tab Hunter. Um, I'm not wearing sunglasses. I don't know if I brought sunglasses, but I will be squinting a lot through this video, so uh, be prepared for that because I don't really wear sunglasses that much. Why? Because I'm not a motorcycle cop. Okay, let's go visit the grave of Tab Hunter. I actually could have, whoa. This is a very rough video. I'm just kind of going as I go. Drop my keys. Uh, I usually do, if you're new to my channel and you watch this video, I do my cemetery videos quite differently. I like to show the entire drive in, the surroundings, talk about the person as much as I can, as much as I know about them. Uh, this is a little different. This is just kind of off the cuff. It's a very interesting monument there. Look at that. Or headstone. But here we are, Block L. Now, Tab Hunter should be somewhere around here. 
And he was thrown out of the Coast Guard, not thrown out, but he was asked to leave the Coast Guard due to his, when they found out he was underage. And he was introduced to an agent, and that's how he became Tab Hunter. And here he is. So here we are at the grave of Tab Hunter, right at, right at the corner of Block L. And Arthur Gellion, his given name, his real name, July 11th, 1931 to July 8th, 2018. You can see somebody's been out here recently. Bear beside his mother, Gertrude Gellion Coster, January 5th, 1909 to March 4th, 2001. Now, I believe his brother is here as well, but I don't see his, um, I don't see his grave nearby. Ah, oh, some real young people, uh, right to the left of me, and that's always, I, I can't, it's, changes everything when I, when I see things like that, it's, um, there's somebody here who's 18, 27, 25, 26, all in a row, all young men. So here's Tab Hunter right here. I'm going to leave a rock, as I usually do. That's from my aunt, we'll say. I'll just give a little wipe off. Oh, there's lots of ants. That's okay. They're not going to hurt me. Just clean it off a little bit. Ah, There we go. That was the final resting place of Tab Hunter. Rest in peace, Tab Hunter. I mean, this guy was very, 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 very huge. To, to knock Elvis off the charts, you know, that's pretty popular. And, and teen idols at those times, from everything I read and kind of watched you know, documentaries about and just know about, it's a different kind, it's a different level of fame because you didn't have, there's only like one or two outlets, you know, like there's you'd be a couple of tabloids. TV, movie, music, maybe two radio stations back in the... You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's not as fractured as it is now where there's so many outlets for, for people to be famous. I mean, he was mega famous. There's a difference between being famous back then than there is now. Nowadays, anybody's famous. But back then, it took quite a bit to be world famous. And to be a heartthrob. Tab Hunter. All right. Let's take a walk. Well, we're gonna drive down. I think I know where I'm gonna go first. See some cool things here in Santa Barbara. Let's go. I was thinking that my father took my aunt when she was little and he was young. Took her to a concert, but it wasn't Tab Hunter, it was Bobby somebody. I have to ask my aunt who it was. My aunt was Little, but she loved all the teen stars. And uh, my father probably wanted to get in good with my mom's family. Would always take his uh, soon to be sister in laws and my brother in laws, but my uncle took them to concerts and hockey games and stuff all the time. Just the type of guy my dad was. All right, let's go. I will never understand the point of leaf blowers. They're always, see there he is. I'm talking about the machines themselves. They, they're blowing leaves and dirt and whatever is lying around, but they're just blowing it elsewhere. So no longer is it over there. Now it's here. Well, who comes and takes it off of there? He's blowing it off the sidewalk onto the road. So now the road's got all this stuff on it. Right? You know, if you're gonna blow something, have a purpose. Speaking of blowing things, uh, dolphins. Do they have blowholes like whales? What's he doing? I think he's vaping. Look at this. I don't see any blowholes on them. 
you know, I'm an animal lover. I've said this many times on my channel, and, and I really do. I'm a huge animal lover. And I like dolphins. I think I used to like them a lot more. But, I mean, this isn't indicative of how dolphins really are. They, dolphins can be dicks. They, they, they can gang up on other, well, I guess they're protecting other fish. Usually, mammals, whatever they are. I'm not sure. But I mean, I'm thinking if a dolphin saw this, they'd be like, you know, that's not what we just what we do. We don't just jump out of the water gracefully for your entertainment. We, there's a lot of other things we do. But I think they're a little arrogant too, like whales. I, I've always thought whales are very, very arrogant. I'm afraid of whales. I, I, I had a bad experience with one once. I don't want to talk about it. It was on a boat. It was on, in the Atlantic. I was with my parents. I was younger, and a whale came right up to our boat. And it was huge, it scared the hell out of me. And to this day, if I'm ever on a boat, even on a lake, I think, is a whale gonna be coming up from underneath? Because even though they don't really eat humans, why wouldn't they? They're big enough. You know, and then everybody goes, you know, you see, they, people go whale watching, and the whale comes up, and, you know, they see it, and it's like, oh, there's a dorsal fin. Ooh, and it goes back on, and everybody's, oh, God, freaks out. Like, they have big heads, whales. Like, and they just, you know, they, then they cruise through the water like that and go back under and they went, oh! Like they just did like a magic trick like the David fucking Copperfield. I mean, I mean, it'd be cool if I looked outside, out there right now and I saw a whale, I'd be like, that's cool. But I'd also be like, show off. All right, so this is, wait, 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 I don't know, I don't know why. They're waiting, they're stopping for me. So this is the uh, Santa Barbara main pier. Stern's Wharf. Howard Stern's Wharf. Uh, and there's the beach. Looks like not. Look, he's going. He's going for that, eh? Whatever he's eating. Looks like he's eating a flower. Okay, we're gonna go close. Like he is just having his way with that thing. I think it's odd when people sit alone and eat confectionery candy or ice cream. I've always found it to be a weird thing when I see people doing that. Like, what is that? Like some kind of sherbet. Okay, dude, whatever. Gleaming the cube, not impressed. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of weird. I don't know, I guess I just have a lot of weird things that I think are weird, but you know, it's, like, it's, just, it's a nice summer day, ice cream or whatever, that sherbet looking thing he has. I guess it would be fun, nice to eat, but something that you take home, you eat it in shame, and you and you throw away the remnants, so no one ever knows you had it. Nobody cares that you're on a bike. No, I almost want to edit you out, but I don't know. I I, I couldn't eat. It. I couldn't like walk along right now just with an ice cream an ice cream cone and just like be eating an ice cream cone or like licorice or um, even a chocolate bar, candy bar, whatever we call it here in the states now. I don't know. I, the, the stuff you, you take it home. Go home and eat it. Dessert in a restaurant, fine. Dessert on the street, no. <sighs> I want to walk on this side, but I feel that uh, Evil Knievel and his bride there are going to come around and do a lap and hit me. So we're going to take a look. We're going to see what's on this wharf. Now, I believe, I'm not even going to get into it, but my friend Pat the Batman fan was telling me Batman the series. They filmed Batman with a bomb. On this, when we tried to defuse a bomb, I don't know, on this thing. So it is a filming location, but I'm not going to get into that. But well, I'm going to walk all the way out there. That's a far walk. And if you know me, you know my channel, you know I don't usually, uh, well, I walk everywhere for my channel, but I don't necessarily enjoy the walking part. So don't spill it or we're going to kick you out. I disagree. I walk everywhere for my channel. Like, I do. That's all I do is I'm walking, walking while I drive to locations that I'm walking around. So I spend most of my time on my, look, here. More dolphins in that pose. That's not all they do. They, they, uh, if the dolphins could swim up onto the sand and crawl along, I think they'd be offended by this. They'd be like, come on. Can you make us look tough for once? I don't know. This guy's giving up. He's just giving up completely. Yeah, so, 
So I walk everywhere, but I don't want to go on a walk. Like if somebody asks me to go on a walk, I get very, uh, well I won't. First of all, it's like soup in a restaurant. If you're gonna order soup in a restaurant, I've been through this before. Don't order soup around me, it's weird. weird. It's just gross. But going for a walk, I'm always like, well where are we going? Well, nowhere, we're going for a walk. Well where are we, where are we gonna end up? Well, we're just gonna go for a walk, we'll be back here. So we're gonna walk to here? Yeah, we're gonna go for a walk and we're gonna come back here. Why are we leaving? What's the point of leaving then? We're already here. Right? I don't know. I'm not a big walker. But I, I but I walk all the time. But just I don't want to go for a walk. You know, I have to be so, I have to be going somewhere. I have to be on my way to somewhere. There has to be a, a, an end point. And then I prefer having alternate transportation back if I have to walk. But it's not the case. That's right. That's what I prefer. I was about to do this, like trying to blow the horn. They're not truckers. It smells like the ocean. Scratch your screen right now. Whatever device you're using, if you're watching a laptop or your phone or a big screen TV. I always like to know what people, how people watch my videos. If you're watching this right now and you're going to leave a comment, tell me how you watch my videos. You watch them on a uh, tablet, on your TV. How do people watch it? Because I shoot my videos. Not, not necessarily this one, but most of them I shoot for the big screen. IMAX. No, but I shoot them for like, I like to get cinematic views and, oh God, listen to me. Who am I, Stanley fucking Kubrick? Uh, but I like to, you know, I like to get a, uh, uh, tell me how you watch the video. I don't understand people with phone cases that fold open. I'm sorry if you have one, it's fine. But it's just, it's just that extra four seconds. You could be doing something else. Why, why does it have to have a case on it like that that closes over top? Let's get your phone ready. Look, look at this thing. She doesn't have it. She's on the ball. Beige Capri pants. You know what I'm talking about, beige Capri. Capri. Beige Capri. Here we go. Take a look at this. Oh, she's filming him. I think that's her husband on the bike. Is it motorized? I think it's motorized. Why can't I drive my car on here then? People are driving their car. I could have driven all the way up here. <sighs> see what I'm doing for you guys? After this, we're going to go and try and find Oprah's house. Probably just see a gate, but still, it's Oprah's house. Look at the beach ball. Take a look at this. I mean, this is a lot different than the Santa Monica Pier. If you watched my video about that a few weeks ago, I put up where tons of, tons of people and the rides and everything. And then you see the mountains and all that. And then Venice Beach down. But I mean, take a look at this. Come on, take a look at this. Not these two. Take a look at this. Isn't that... Look at those mountains. They, I, I can't tell if they look big on, on camera. <laughs> I've had that problem before. But I, the mountains, I'm speaking of, I'm not sure if they look as impressive as they do. Everything looks smaller on camera. What's that you looking at me, you blue-haired beauty? Yeah, I think I'm definitely in the senior section, which is fine, because... I feel like one. What up, orange shirt? If you listen to the sounds of the cars on the boardwalk driving along, it's very unsettling. I feel like they're gonna just crack through. This is the fire department connection under wharf deluge. Is this necessary if there's a fire here? Huh, the bucket. Do you really need, is this necessary? You're surrounded by water. What are those? Are those pelicans? No. Yeah? Look at them. I think they're pelicans. There's a lot of them. That doesn't make it mean that there's, they're pelicans it's just because there's a lot of them. They don't know if they travel the budget. Look at them flying around. Creepy. Dinosaurs. So I think I'm really gonna get to the end of this uh, pier. I've never been out on this pier before. We're gonna peer out into the ocean. <laughs> But I don't uh, know if there's anything exciting to see other than cars and like restaurants. I don't know what is uh, going to be at the end of this. This guy's giving up too. He's like, no, nothing to see. Um, okay, so a restaurant. Lagoon, Lago what does it say? Longboards Grill. Hmm. Oh, thank you. I don't have time. 
I'll have my deli meat in the in the car like an animal. I know th four types of bikes: Yamaha, Kawasaki, Suzuki, Ducati. But there's another one that I knew growing up because my uncle had a motorcycle farm. Yeah, he grew motorcycles. No, they had motorcycles on the farm. He had a motorcycle shop at Woodstock, Ontario. Uh, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Suzuki, the big four, he called them back in the day. It's not important. I don't know. This lady's doing stretches. My car is all the way back there by that mountain. Well, not by the mountain, but somewhere in those buildings. I don't know. Influencer. Okay. She has 750,000 followers. It's very impressive. Cass and Newsies over here. Look at them wearing a flat cap in June in California. Get your paper here. Yeah? News of the day here. Yeah? Ugh, ugh, frequent flight. Okay, so that was a brown pelican. The elegant turn. Well, I hate that. The common, look at that. The elegant, how snobby is that? The elegant turn. What a name. What a beautiful name for a bird. The common loon. That's so rude. Oh, the turn. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's elegant. We'll call it the elegant turn. Look at the loon. Ma. Ah. See loons all the time. They're so common. Common turn. Common loon. Common loon. A lot of no fishing signs. What the fuck? Are they gonna run out? Give me a break. Ooh, candy. Ice cream. Can I get an ice cream? I sit by myself. I don't know. I'm looking at the spider webs. I don't know. Wine tasting. Deep sea con. Oh, deep sea. I thought it was like they go out into the sea. Um, but no. Mini Cannon. Hey, Nick Cannon's having the ninth kid. Did you hear about that? Isn't that crazy? Speaking of which, Moby Dick. This is a historic capstan. I just read this and none of it made sense to me. But here it is. Look, it was the captain's wheel. I know that. Yeah, Richard Henry Dana, American sailor, author and lawyer, first arrived Santa Barbara Harbor. Da 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 da. Wrote The Outsiders, Doctors. Okay. I think I'm getting to the end of the. Uh... Oh, oh my God! Look, the Stern Wharf Fire. No, oh, Moby Dick Restaurant. This is where the Batman thing was. And Pat said the restaurant was closed down. Pat lied. Well, because I could see people in there. Three businesses were destroyed Moby Dick Restaurant, Santa Barbara Shellfish Company. That's Santa Barbara Shellfish. I don't know why I put a pause in it. Mike's Bait Shop, along with 20% of the war. So I guess they do need those fire pumps. I guess they can't just. No diving and jumping. Who's doing that? Who, like, I guess they can't just, you know. I'm kidding. I know they need these things on a wharf. Well, actually, I actually didn't know they need them necessarily on a wharf. I thought the fire trucks would just drive up. But the water's right below us. Here we go. Yeah, so Batman was somewhere around here. Ad the Adam West one. Pat the Batman fan told me all about it. Yoga mat. I, I think 75% of the people that carry around yoga mats aren't really doing yoga. They just, they just have it so that you think that they're doing yoga. And I think 40% of people who carry around babies in a front sling, that's not their baby. They bore them just to look like they have a baby. It's like a trophy. But yeah, I don't know, uh, the yoga posers, I don't know. I'm not buying it. Local sea urchin. There he is right there. Local sea urchin. Oh, here he is. Look at this. All of a sudden, they're allowed to fish over here. Said no smoking. This guy's got the longest cigarette I've ever seen in my life. No fishing, but there's fishing over here. Here, let's look through this. What a view, what a view. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So lots of boats. Guy playing to a huge audience of one. 
he's just tuning up. Why are all guitar players the tune the tune up takes is longer than the performance usually? Why do they show up with their guitar already tuned? Anyway, here's Wonderwall. So there's no fishing, no fish. Do not feed birds. People aren't paying attention to any rules around here. There's smoking and no smoking. She's feeding this bird. Well, she's teasing him with something. Her husband's filming. He's had enough. Divorce. It's headed that way. But here we go. This is where um, everybody's fishing down on this side. No. Oh, so no overhead casting here. Fishing allowed, but no overhead casting. There's like a whole event here for people. The wild. Look at the sailboats. Who cares? I'm not. Ooh. Here we go. We're at the edge of the world right now. You just go a little bit further, you can see that's where it, you fall off. Ooh, the double dolphin. Sailing. And now they're all looking up at us. Like we're supposed to be really impressed. That boat's called Young Fools. I think we're supposed to be impressed by them. That one, the double dolphin, a little more impressed, but if I was on that boat with those people, I'd probably jump off. They all look annoying. Look at all those sailboats out there, though. Young fools can't make it very far. Why? Because they're fools. Look, they're going around in circles. He can't even get out of the harbor. He can't get out of the harbor. He sold me out to Ma. The double dolphin is really skipping away there. There it goes. So we're at the end of the wharf. So we've come to the end of the wharf. So a dude just came and um, did something. He he put something on the lure. Lure? How do I even know what that is? He put something on the line and squeaked it up and wheeled it up and now he's left. I don't know how that works. You might watch my channel and be a fisherman. And I thank you for doing that because it's something I have no interest in doing. I've done it maybe once or twice before. I had a fishing pole when I was a kid. Never used it. But I did go fishing as in my late teens. I uh, did not enjoy it. It was a much ado about nothing waiting around. Did he catch anything? No. Uh, so I thank you for people who do fish. Because if you ask me to go fishing, I'll say, first of all, what? Second of all, don't they have fish at the grocery store? And you would say, well, yeah. I'd say, then why don't we cut out the middleman? This is literally going to be me in three years. Pajamas, wrap around sunglasses, end of the wharf. Good three years I give myself. I'm at that point. Electric bike. If you're going to ride a bike, ride a bike. Let's see what it's like behind a restaurant where the dumpsters are. See what's going on back here. No fishing, no dive. <laughs> if you're di if you've come here to dive, you're not going to be that. You're not looking that graceful. Again, again with the gracefulness. You're not that graceful di di jumping off a wharf into the cold Pacific, even though it's June. Look at this. This is the back of the restaurant. Got a waitress, a busser. It looks like people eating. Some old stools. <laughs> yeah. Boxes. Santa Monica seafood. What the hell? Are they buying their seafood from somewhere else? I mean, it shipped in from Santa Monica. Hello. If you if you want a catfish, you just tell you where I want a catfish. They should dive gracefully into the ocean right there, find a catfish, bring it up, serve it. I have to bring it in from Santa Monica. You're surrounded by it. I'm assuming there's, well, no, maybe catfish? I don't know. What kind of fish are around this ocean? I, I don't want to know if you're about to write it. It doesn't matter. I appreciate you commenting, but... I don't know if fish are in the ocean. I, say, I assume it's squid, octopus. Oh, here we go. That was nothing. All right, we're gonna go and try and find Oprah's house, and and because it's uh, Santa Barbara's all there, but she's got this huge compound in the middle, and I know you can't see anything, but I saw this side street once. When I was doing my uh, video that I was here about George Michael a few years ago, and I saw, and I thought, me, I think that size he goes up to Oprah's house. I wonder if I could see some of it. I don't know. I don't know. Dude, you ruined the shot. Oh, they're singing now. This guy's got quite a crowd. It's like a waste of Nebworth here. 
Okay, tell me you're a serial killer without telling me you're a serial killer. Go. There it is. And when I see people eating ice cream or candy by themselves, it's just by when, you, when you're by yourself on the street. I think it's odd. When you're with your family, or your kids, or you're with your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, that's fine. You both go and get an ice cream cone, you get some taffy, I don't know, M&M's, whatever. It's just uh, solitary people eating eating anything um, confection, confectionery or anything like uh, that would be described as mmm, delicious. By by yourself on the on the street, I just think it's a little odd. And like fast food, I eat fast food sometimes. Everybody eats fast food sometimes. Fast food. I first of all, people that sit in a fast food restaurant, I, I that, that's that's a something I will never understand. Like you go to a fast food restaurant, you actually sit inside. No, no, no. You go through the drive-through, or you go inside if the drive-through is too big. Get your order. You go home and you eat it in shame. And like I said before, then you throw it away. Preferably, you take you don't even throw it away in your house. The wrappers are. You take it outside, throw it in your neighbor's trash. Because you should feel shame afterwards. And like I said, I eat fast food, so I'm I'm, I'm not dissing people who eat fast food. I'm saying something you do alone. It's a shameful act, and you try to get rid of all the evidence afterwards. You're gonna go right through, right through. Plumbing truck coming through. Makes no sense to me either. What kind of plumbing do you need here? Wash your hands in the ocean. If you gotta go number one and number two, it should just be a hole right down to the bottom. Isn't that how it works? And all end up in the ocean, anyways? What's that? The moon has landed. The moon has landed. And these people here are taking photographs and video of something over here that I, where like the moon's there, but they're, they're really something here that's fascinating them. They were taking pictures too. Now it's just this Kojak by himself, but I wonder what, what we're looking at here. I'm gonna film him filming. Well, that's that. There's people in the water over there. They're obviously insane. The Pacific Ocean is not as warm as you think. It's even in SoCal. SoCal? Did I just. I apologize. I would never say SoCal again. Southern. That's just douchey. Southern California. Is it. Um, the Pacific Ocean, it's, it's, it's cold. Even in August, I found it cold. But there's lots of people in the water. I prefer the Atlantic or the Gulf of Mexico if I'm going to go in the ocean at any time. Especially in the summer, though. When you think, oh, the ocean must be really warm. Mm -hmm. But maybe, maybe it's gotten warmer in the past couple of years. I haven't been in the Pacific Ocean in a while. No, I was there last year. I went in for a little bit, but it was too cold for me. Even the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean when I was there a couple of months ago. It was too cold for me a little bit, but I still went in. It has to be a good 95 degrees. It's too much color, lady. With the shirt and the backpack, it's too much. I despise being told what to do. All right, I'm gonna do it. There's something else. See a fire hydrant extended out of the out of the water. It's pretty cool. Is it cool? It's not really that cool. But you don't really see a fire hydrant above ground like that. You know? Shut up, Kia. Check it. Forty-seven. Forty-six. Forty-five. I bet you the next one's forty-three. 44. Fuck! You screwed me over, 43. Once again, you screwed me over. There's those pelicans again. The brown pelicans, not like the elegant learn or whatever, the elegant turn. And where's the common loon? I want to see a common loon. They're just like underneath, probably. In those, behind those cages, just, this is so common. They don't want to be seen. The, the pelicans and the elegant or elegant turn, whatever the hell it was called, don't want to be seen with the common loon. You're going right through, Tacoma. You're going right through. For a rickety old wharf, people certainly drive a lot of pickup trucks along it. And SUVs. So people in the ocean are all the way over there. And then on this side, not so much. You go a few over out that way. Oh, this dude, he's, this deadbeat here. But he's... Hey, dude, I don't know if you're allowed to fish. Should I go tell him? Like he might be wearing slickers, is that what they call them? Holy Jesus, he just, he threw out a lure. I don't know how I know that word, but he just threw it out and it landed here. That was far, like I could hear it drop into the water here. Is that impressive? I don't know, it's like, uh, 
uh, on Seinfeld when, you know, the chicken, little Jerry made it all the way from my your apartment in Newman's in less than 60 seconds. Wow, is that good? I don't know. It's the same sort of thing. I don't, I don't know what, if I'm impressed by what he's doing or not. <gasps> there it is. There, see? It seems like something I can't do, so I'm impressed. Check this out. How close can I get to you without you attacking me? Want to turn? You want to turn the water on? I'll turn it on. Oh, look, 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 look! He wants it. Oh, yeah. this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. There you go. There you go. Fatten up, because I'm going to grab you by the neck and I'm taking you back to my place and I'm going to eat you tonight. Have some more water, sure. This can't be good for people. But there, uh, there you go, buddy. Oh, sure, that's it. We're done. Hey, how are they biting? Said that a few times. <laughs> no, you and me, we have this. We have this connection now. That's awesome. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's dragging in. He caught um he caught a giant snake, apparently. He just caught seaweed. Honey, brought dinner home. Oh, what'd you get, bass? Trout? Seaweed. Oh good. I'll get the deep fryer. I thought those are those catamarans because it says Car cart rigger cat ri cat rigger beach. That doesn't make any sense at all. I think those are catamarans. Can you rent them? I wonder if you can. I'd like to know. Hey, Andy Griffith, murder she wrote. Can I rent these? Let me know. No, no, no. Go slow, kid. Go slow. You're gonna. You almost give me a heart attack? Think of what you'll do to them. Go slow. The mom's telling them to go slow. That's right. Good mom. Good mom. Good trophy. Good trophy, kid. We're all impressed. Oh, so you have to show something to get on here. Oh, you just get a ticket and you pay. Oh, no, that's it. So it look, works like a regular parking lot. So that whole walk could have been avoided. But it was fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> Think of something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see Oprah's house. Oh, look at you in your shiny white GMC. Sun hat. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Ah, oh, I think I found what Harry Styles was eating over there. I think it's these things. How is that? Oh, how? Yeah, he had a mangoes preparados. And the mangoes preparados. Yeah, because the mango by itself is just like that on a stick, not impressed. Move it or lose it. Well, so they must peel it and put it, make it really impressive looking. Because right now, the way it looks like that, not impressive. But the way Buddy over here was uh, eating it, when it was all like, peeled and floured. Even that, why? What's, what's the point of all that? Just bring your own. Melon on a stick. <sighs> Melon on a stick. Alligators in the sewers. So we made it. This is Oprah's driveway. It's like a hundred million dollar home. I believe it was owned by Jeff Bridges at one point. Who knew Jeff Bridges had that kind of money? I, I, I was just thinking about it. I was like, how was it, was it once owned by Jeff Bridges? It's got like a thousand rooms, four million bathrooms. It's way back there. Well, it's not, actually, it's not too far back, but can't go any further really. It's a private road. And then there's cameras up there. So... You know, I'm gonna chill back here. There's one little house here on the side, but it's on the opposite side of this fence going around. But Oprah's house is straight back there. I thought it'd be kind of cool to see your driveway for you to see your driveway because it's such a uh, uh, well known house. But Jeff Bridges used to own it. it. This is what I've heard. And I, well, not what I've heard, what I've read. Yeah, like I've heard, I travel in the same circles as Oprah. That's what uh, Oprah Gale and I were talking. Oh, you bought it from Jeff Bridges. You get a house, you get a house, you get a house. But I guess Lloyd Bridges, Sea Hunt. Jeff Bridges got that Sea Hunt money. Then Big Lebowski is off to the races. Oprah Winfrey's house is here. I'll show you an aerial view. And this is actually Montecito. It's not uh, Santa Barbara. But it's close enough. 15 minute drive. All right. Thanks for watching. That's the video. I just walked around and Peace. Out. Oprah's driver.